Today, we're going to be taking a general look at the Pro GCC, as well as going over the user guide and how to use a controller. To start, let's go over the configuration website. When you plug in the controller, you'll get a Pro GCC 3 detected prompt, either from Edge or Google Chrome. If you click on it, it'll take you directly to the configuration website. From here, you can go ahead and click connect. This will allow you to enable all the options for your controller. If your controller's firmware is out of date, when you click connect, you'll get a prompt to update your device. All you have to do is click bootloader to enable bootloader mode. This allows you to update the firmware of the controller. From there, download the firmware file linked directly below the bootloader button. Once that's downloaded, all you have to do is copy the file into the folder that opened when we click the bootloader button. Once it's done copying, the controller will reset and restart. From here, you can click connect again. To start at the top of the list, we have our social media. These are QR codes that take us to our Twitter and our Discord. Up next, we have color settings. These change in real time as you adjust the buttons on screen. Once you're done adjusting all of your color settings, you can go ahead and click save down at the bottom. At the very top, you'll get a prompt saying settings saved. For the snapback viewer, we can go ahead and see that all of our flicks no longer have any snapback to them. That goes for both the left and the right stick. Up next, we have analog calibration. If your sticks ever feel like they're not acting correctly, we recommend starting with an analog calibration. All you have to do is click start and your controller will turn red. If you spin both sticks a few times, once the controller's gathered enough data, it'll turn blue. From here, you can click stop and save. This will recenter your sticks. Octagonal calibration is to calibrate your controller for an octagonal gate. Move your analog stick to one of the octagon corners and press the button below to update the angle. When you're done doing all of them, you can go ahead and press save. Next up, we have our gyroscope settings. This is useful for games like Mario Kart where you can steer by literally turning your controller. All this does is really calibrate the gyroscope. All you have to do is place your controller on a flat surface and press the start button. The LEDs will turn yellow, and when calibration is done, you'll get a message saying that the settings are saved. Next, we have the remapping feature. This allows you to bind your buttons to any other button. Right now, I have it in Xbox mode, essentially. I have A as B, B as A, Y as X, and X as Y. This is replicating the button layout of an Xbox 360 controller. You can also individually adjust your binds per each mode. So you have your Switch, X input, GameCube, and N64 modes all having separately configurable bind buttons. And last but not least, we have the GameCube special function. This will allow you to select the function for special mapping. Once you're done configuring your controller, all you have to do is click disconnect at the top. From here, you're set up to start playing games on whatever console you choose. Let's jump right into the console list. In order to have the controller work on a Nintendo Switch, we need to go to System Settings, Controllers and Sensors, and Pro Controller Wired Communication needs to be turned on. All you have to do is plug a USB-C cable into your Nintendo Switch and into your controller. It'll automatically boot up into Nintendo Switch mode, meaning that you can play games just like a regular Pro Controller right away. In order to play on a GameCube console, just like one of our Pico modded consoles, 
you'll need a Retro C to GameCube cable. This will allow you to plug your Pro GCC V3 directly into your GameCube. All you have to do is hold A as you plug it in to enable GameCube mode. From there, you can play games just like a normal GameCube controller. Next up, we have PC gaming. In this example, I'm using TF2. All I had to do is plug the controller in while holding X to enter X input mode. From there, Steam handled all the rest of the settings and automatically loaded a controller profile for Team Fortress 2, meaning I was able to start playing right away. N64 mode works very similarly to GameCube mode. All you have to do is hold B while plugging in your USB-C to N64 cable. You now know how to use your Pro GCC 3 controller. If you have any questions, please be sure to join our Discord below, check out our wiki for more content like this, and as always, thank you for watching.